Hello viewers, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we'll measure a high resistance and a low resistance with the help of this digital multimeter. And we also discuss the do and don'ts to get accurate measurement. Now to measure the resistance with the help of this digital multimeter. First, as it's not auto select multimeter, we have to select the range. Here ohm is written which indicates the unit of resistance. First we will measure the low resistance. Looking at the color code of the resistance I can assume the value. In this case the nominal value of the resistance is 1 ohm. So I am selecting the range in 200 ohm of this multimeter. Next we have to connect the red lead of the multimeter in voltage and ohm terminal and black lead should be in common terminal then you can start the multimeter for measuring the resistance now to get the accurate result we have to keep some point in mind before measuring any lower resistance we have to connect the both lead of the multimeter and i am getting a value of 0.2 ohm which is the resistance of this lead. Now we measure this resistance by connecting the both lead across the resistance. I am getting 1.2. As earlier I have measured the resistance of this lead which is 0.2. So I am going to subtract 0.2 from 1.2. And I'm getting 1 ohm which is accurate please remember before measuring any lower value resistance first connect the lead and measure the lead resistance later on subtract the lead resistance to get accurate result now we'll measure the higher value of resistance for this resistor the nominal value is 1.5 mega ohm we can measure it looking at this color code now to measure the higher value i have to select the range according i am selecting here 2000 kilo ohm which is 2 mega ohm now to get accurate result we have to keep some point in mind for the higher value of resistance while measuring any higher value of resistance we have to hold the register in one hand and connect the both lead across the register now in the display you can see it's 1456 which is 1.45 mega ohm almost near to 1.5 mega ohm now if i connect my both hand or i hold the register with my both hand you will see the value is reducing as I am connecting my body across the register and it's an erroneous result. To avoid this type of error I have to hold the register in one hand and connect the both lead across then we will get accurate result for the higher value of register. This we can measure the lower value and higher value of resistance with the help of digital multimeter. Now another function of this multimeter is continuity. With the help of this function we can measure the continuity of any conductor. To measure the continuity we have to select this symbol. Looking at the screen you can see the symbol. Now I am going to measure the continuity between these two terminal. As it's a incandescent lamp, by measuring the continuity, I can tell that whether bulb is okay or not. To measure the continuity, I have to connect the both lead of the multimeter across these two terminal. Okay. It's showing the resistance 38.8 and listening the sound I can tell the bulb is ok. Thus we can measure the continuity. 
of any conductor. I hope this video is helpful to you. You have learned how to measure the resistance and do and don'ts to get accurate result. And we have also discussed about the function continuity. If you find the video is helpful to you, please hit like button and share it with your friends. And please do subscribe our channel to encourage me to make such videos. Thank you for watching.